Arrow stuff guys so we're currently waiting at the Aria right now we are doing the finger licking foodie tours we're right outside of Catch it's the first restaurant that we're trying on this little self guided tour with the biggest catch in the sea just kidding it's Leia come on guys I'm not that narcissistic so this is our first restaurant and on this little foodie tour we go to three restaurants all within the Aria we got the drink and food package and we're about to get some Let's do it. One more fit check. Comment down below. One to ten. Stop. How nice our outfit is. First off, the catch looks super aesthetic. There's flowers everywhere. The vibes in here are dope. Let's hope the food is just as good. But spoiler alert, I've actually been to the LA location. They actually have really good seafood. It's a bit pricey. I say for catch, you kind of go for the experience, you know what I mean? We're gonna start off with the drinks. We're probably gonna have to download it. This is a pretty strong drink. There's a kick to it. There's vanilla in here for sure. It's like a limeade type drink. Just know that it's fruity, minty, and strong. Um, velvet of vodka, lemonade, apple juice, a little bit of vanilla. Nice. Yeah, that was what was in the drink. This <laughs> Leia, her first drink, what is that? You know, she didn't actually give me the name, she just told me what it had in it. Strawberry vodka, coconut, rose, and lime over fresh ice. It's like a strawberry lemonade drink, right? Yeah, I think it was like strawberry lemonade. Cheers, it's good. The crispy shrimp toss and a spicy yoli. Just as I was saying, we don't order anything. We didn't even order this, the food just came. Didn't even have time to drink the drink, so we have 30 minutes at every location. We're about five minutes in, so I feel a little bit of rush, but you know what? I could eat fast. Mm. It's like crispy popcorn shrimp. There's actually big pieces of shrimp in here, it's pretty fresh. Let's try these little filet mignon skewers and steak skewers. Oh. oh my god. That's super tender, it has to be filet mignon. Let me dip in this little sauce that they got for us. See what this sauce does. Mm. There's already like a sweet, slight glaze on the steak. Kind of like an Asian-ish glaze, but not the little sauce, green sauce right here is like a tangy wasabi sauce. It really adds to the flavor. So tender and soft, guys. Perfectly cooked, perfectly medium rare. Sauce. Let me know how the sauce is. I didn't try the sauce. Mm. The sauce. Saucy. Is it saucy? It's so good. It's tender, right? Mm. Tender bender. Mm, delicious. They're supposed to be good, known for their seafood, but this is mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Must recommend. Okay, let's try these little shrimp poppers. Pop and lock it. Pop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot, like these shrimps. Dan likes side commentary. <laughs> Everything is so good. That's really good. Try these little sushi things. Is that it the salmon roll? It's gonna be crab and daikon in the middle. Salmon's gonna be on top. Uh, spicy miso glaze. Nice. Raw salmon? Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, the salmon is raw. They okay. torch it slightly. Awesome. Okay. We'll do it all together with you guys too. So a little salmon roll. It's nice and seared. Mmm. Mm. Fresh. Mm -hmm. There's a nice sear on the top of the salmon. Really smoky taste to the salmon. And what's inside? Um, I can't put my finger on it. So it's like crab in there, but it's not like your typical mayonnaise fake crab. It actually has a better taste to it, more quality. I wonder if it's real crab, but I wouldn't doubt it because Catch is known for their seafood. Catch me outside. But oh, this is definitely a lot of food for one place because we got two more stops after this. So and it comes with drinks. And it comes with drinks. Well, actually, that's a separate package. Yeah, guys, we're gonna link all the prices and the details down below the drinks are really strong here although they're really good they're really strong so i don't know if i can down this in the amount of time because it's it's hard to take down damn i guess i'm gonna have to double fist both of our drinks i would say i could take in like a good amount of alcohol and to me these drinks are still strong to me so i think they're strong that's saying and something sweet. like i think that's what makes it a little bit both it's strong and sweet so it's like a punch like, compared to the caparina at the brazilian barbecue oh, that one was delicious yeah. that one was really good yeah, Leia likes her drinks more fruity Oh, she's tight. <laughs> she's out. 
<laughs> my stomach is a little bit too too bloated from the all you could eat drinks and tapas at the catch. We we're at our second stop at the Javier's at the Aria. It was like a three minute walk. But yeah guys, I feel like a criminal because we just walked out of that restaurant without paying, without doing anything, but that's part of the finger looking foodie tours. So we just eat and then we just leave right after. There's a bunch of Javier's in California. I've seen them before, but surprisingly this is my first time here. Yeah. I've heard raving reviews about this place and we've always wanted to go here, but so thank you finger looking foodie tour. We're finally here. It's very nice vibes. Yeah, it's a Mexican restaurant. Very low light, candles everywhere. I'm vibing. This is a green tomatillo sauce, salsa quemada, it's just roasted, this is habanero, super hot, um, and this is tomatillo too, it's boiled with uh, diced avocados and onions and cilantro inside it. Try the habanero one. The habanero one is hot, so that's uh, why. Typical Mexican restaurant, we gotta get the chips and the sauce, so we're gonna try each one. Let's see, so which one's the habanero? The, I'm not a spicy eater, guys. The orange one. I'm not, I'm not a spicy eater, guys, I'm gonna get some but I'll try it, okay. I dipped it off. Oh god. <laughs> so it's like mango, habanero. My tongue is on fire. I feel like I'm licking spikes. But it is tangy. It's, it's interesting. Here, regular salsa. Tomatillo? Mm. I'll, I'll stick with my green salsa because green salsa is usually the mildest. <laughs> I like to see Dan taste spicy. <laughs> I'm gonna try it too. The green salsa is very lemony. How's that? Is it spicy? It hits you in a bit. Give it a couple seconds. Not spicy? Not spicy. Wow. Not spicy. My head is tingling right now, but I'm gonna keep going for you guys. This one has a little bit of avocado on it. It's the darker green salsa. Yeah. Chips are very crispy, oily. I think they're deep fried. Very, very crunchy. Oh. Pineapple margaritas. Salt on the rim, senor. And Timador Reposado, Saint Germain, Agave, and pineapple juice, and diced pineapples inside. This is a fixed drink. We didn't get an option. The other one, we had two choices to choose from, but they brought us one drink, so it's very easy. This is a pineapple margarita. Cheers. Cheers. Clink. This is good. Wow. A lot this, better than the first one. <laughs> a lot better. This is good, but still, all these drinks are really strong, guys. I could definitely taste alcohol in this. I think they're trying to black us out on this finger licking foodie tour. We're all coming out like drunk and You're gonna have to wheelchair me out of the, <laughs> the last restaurant, all right? Because they give you such a short time frame to finish them. That's mm. you're just like... There's like shredded pieces of little pineapple in here too. It's pretty good. This is definitely the best drink out of the three I've had. Mm -hmm. I agree. Pineapples. Shout out to Rick Ross, Dice Pineapples. Really good. Cheers. Cheers. On the green side is enchiladas de marisco. Oh. So it's a shrimp and crab. It's a green tomatillo sauce. Uh, the, shrimp, the, the seafood, they cook it in a wine garlic butter sauce and they wrap it in a corn tortilla. Green tomatillo sauce. On the red side is a enchiladas, uh, chicken enchiladas with a red tomato sauce. Right. And then refried beans and rice on the Thank side. You. You this honestly could be a whole meal. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get really full by the end of this. I'm already feeling full. Chicken enchiladas. Traditional. Delicious. So on the green side is crab and mariscos, so shrimp, and then on the red side is chicken, okay, so it's like a half-half, so you know, this is the mixed enchiladas. Let's try out the mariscos first. They don't discriminate here, guys. They mix up these enchiladas. Usually I like the green salsas more, because they're more lemony, you know, less spicy, so. But, mm. Hot. Mm. I, ooh. This is real fresh crab. There's pieces of, you know, the cartilage in between the crabs. Wow, look, this is a full blue crab claw right here. Wow. Oh my god! Wow! I've never had like authentic seafood in an enchilada like this before. It's crazy. Yeah, Leia said she's never had it either. This is like real like mariscos right here. Look. Look at the fibers in this crab right here. This is crazy. I wasn't expecting this. And you know, it's fresh too. It's hot. And 
because the finger looking food store, there's like a set amount of time, so you expect they would have like their food just sitting there and bring it to you, but no, it's like fresh, like right out of the kitchen. And the plate was really hot too. I almost burned my finger. Mmm. Try some of the chicken. Mmm. Usually, chicken could be kind of dry. This is very moist. And this red sauce, not too, not too spicy. The slight hand spice is this cheese and rice, you know, it's a very good dish. Like, I'm actually very surprised of this seafood enchilada. I've never had anything like this before. It's fire, guys. I too have never tried seafood enchiladas. Nope. And I've had my fair share of enchiladas. I have. I have. But it looks good. Mmm. Tastes good too. Yeah, it's, it's cheesy. Very good. I'm very, yeah, I was gonna say that I'm very impressed with the meal. It's really good. They have a location in Newport Beach. Definitely want to go there after having this experience. It's really nice. So our, our last place, the most fancy, most chic environment. The Haunting. Vibras, Vibras in here are crazy. They're fancy. This is a steakhouse, so we're just gonna get a steak here. Leia chose our steak wellness first. What'd you get? Medium. medium. I would get personally medium well, but I know Dan likes it more rare. Medium, no, medium is a happy, happy yeah. medium. Medium but is. I know the outsides will be more quick. Yeah. It's gonna be good. And John Giors is a French Michelin star. He has two Michelin stars. This is not a Michelin star restaurant, but he's a Michelin star chef. Chef, so I have high expectations for this place. Jean Jo. <laughs> butt bread. Oh, wait, oh, wait. <laughs> what does it look like? Like a butt. Oh my god, that's so much. So we got the butt booty bread right here. Booty bread. The booty bread. The fancy booty bread. Uh, there's always fancy bread at steakhouses. I don't know. This looks good though. We have a huge table. This is like a table for six. So they must know that we eat a lot. That's why they gave us this table. And it's good they gave us a spacey table because our stomachs are expanding because we ate and drank so much food already at this point. Smells good. Butter. <laughs> Is it fancy bread? Mm hmm. As usual, steakhouses don't disappoint with the fancy bread. <laughs> Booty bread. Let's try it out. Ooh, holding my knife backwards. As you can see, we have had one too many drinks. <laughs> Just kidding. Butter up this bread. Butter up my biscuits. Salud. Mm. <laughs> when you eat fancy bread, you gotta wipe your mouth in a fancy Tell manner. Nothing beats the Mastro's dining experience. Nothing beats the Mastro's dining experience though, because they like take a little like shaver and they like, move all the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs from your table. This is a close second, if anything. Bread, the texture, very soft. It's like a wine bread that's not sweet. Honestly, it's just bread. It's just bread, yeah. <laughs> it's it's bread. literally fancy bread. Clementine mojito. Thank you. Yeah. Ooh, I love I, I mojitos. Lo I love minty drinks. There's already the mint, mint leaves. I love minty cocktails. Clementine mojito. Clementines are very citrusy. They're. It's like an orange, right? Yeah. It's, I think it's in the orange family. It's good. I drink mine too. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Stronger than I thought. They're trying to black us out, guys. All these drinks are really strong. Two shots of vodka. But they're really good. This one's actually probably my favorite drink, guys. Really? Okay. I love at first sight. So let's do a drink rating. Okay. I think this is the best drink. Then the pineapple mojito. Then the two drinks at Catch. They were all right, but they're a bit too strong for my tasting. This drink is crazy, because it's all preference. I like the margarita mm -hmm. best. This one is okay, and then the last would be the ketchup. Wow, this is like a perfectly made drink. Like it's strong, but there's like that slight sweetness from the clementine, and it's just—it's a very sophisticated drink. And there's just the minty smell. You can like sniff it in while you're drinking it. It's okay. Fire. It's okay. Yeah, me and Leia has different, different tastes. tastes yeah. yeah, she likes really sweet drinks. Carpaccio. Beef carpaccio. Shea wagyu beef. Then you got a cheese truffle fritter on the bottom. Truffle and balsamic vinegar and shake truffle. It looks good, like a little appetizer. 
And this is the Wagyu. So Wagyu is one of the best cuts of meat. It's Carpaccio, so it's uh, raw. So let's try it out. Look at this. Also, is this sliver of Wagyu? Let's see it. <laughs> wow. The flavor is robust. The wagyu beef, it just melts in your mouth. This one you could you could taste the texture a little bit before it melts. It's not the the one that's basil is way more tender. That one like just melted on contact with your tongue. But this one, it melted just as well. And this is a little like cheese ball or something, but it's just to add to the taste of the Wagyu. So this is Leia's first time trying Wagyu. She's kind of scared because oh, no, I'm not scared. she doesn't like to eat raw meat, but the Wagyu is like I heard one of a kind. Hmm? Well, I think I, I'm not tasting the Wagyu, but I think I'm tasting the cheese because I got everything. Mm -hmm. Very robust. Mm -hmm. It really is robust. Oh God, like it's a like, robust. Like you can smell a lot of fragrance from the cheese and all of the combinations. Like the it's flavors I've never tasted before. The, yeah. Flavors I've never tasted before. Interesting. Very strong. Very flavorful. How's the wagyu? Did it melt? I can't even taste it. Mm, <laughs> wow. I think it melted. <laughs> I like, think because I took a, a bite of the cheese ball as well, mm -hmm. so I really got all the flavors of everything. Mm. It's good. Yeah. It's very good. It's uh, wrapped around a Comte cheese fritter. Comte is an unpasteurized. French cheese. It has a very fine dice of jalapeno. Uh, it's got black truffle, and underneath mm. is a uh, black, black truffle. It is black truffle vinaigrette, and those are uh, custom grown herbs. So that was the flavor I was tasting. There, there is black truffle, truffle in there. That's so yeah, it it's really sophisticated, and you could really taste the the truffle on here. It's like, yeah. How would you describe truffle? I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. do it one more time because a lot of people don't know what tr like real truffle tastes like. This is a black truffle. I think that's why the flavor was so strong. Mm -hmm. It's like that's what you taste. Like whoa, it's like overpowering. Mm -hmm. It's like a very strong odor, but not in a bad yeah. way. Yeah, <laughs> it's like an order in your mouth, like a really strong flavor. There's a lot going on. Cause I don't think I've had pure truffle like that. Mm -hmm. This is so the cheese at the bottom is very mustardy. It really is robust. Yes. New York roasted chili peppers, the crunchy potato, fresh jalapenos, the chili yogurt. If you like spicy or habanero hot sauce. No, God, please, no, no. No. This is our Bernays phone. Top a little tarragon powder. John George's steak and barbecue sauce. And our signature and most popular soy miso butter. Ooh, soy miso butter. That's the one you definitely want to try. Wow, that sounds good. Alright guys, so our Jeans Your signature New York is here. The guy looks really aesthetic. You could tell already there's a nice sear on the top. Very tender on the inside. It's nice and pink. Medium for Leia. And we got the potatoes with shishito peppers and jalapenos. Ooh, wee, this is crazy. This Leia's kind of full since we ate so much. But I'm going to, you know, go in first. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. You see that? Nice and medium, guys. They they really know how to cook their meat. I would say this is on the medium side for sure. Give the edge pieces, more well done pieces to lay. I'm gonna eat the middle piece, which is the most rare piece. Look at this. It's juicy. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna try one piece without salt and pepper or any type of sauce, which they shouldn't need any sauce because it's a premium steak, you know what I mean? So, very excited. Moment of truth is here. Mm. It looks very juicy, is it juicy? Very juicy. Mm. You can taste the charcoal grill on the outside. It's nice and seared. Very flavorful on the inside, but it's not too salty, so very well cooked steak. I'm gonna try their ginger sauce. So this is the miso butter. I'm really excited to try this one. Put it on the steak. Over here. Cheers. That miso butter adds to the fattiness of the steak. It's like very fatty sauce mm, with the light, you know, saltiness to it. That's a good sauce. I'm gonna try one more piece with the. Let's try the other sauces. It's really good steak. Very tender on the middle, warm. So this is the barbecue steak sauce. Let's try this. Gene, your signature sauce. 
Oui, oui, ginger. Mmm. You know what that tastes like? There's definitely some poison sauce in there. Poison. You guys eat, but it tastes kind of like poison sauce. Oh, poison. But there's a little like spiciness from the Worcestershire from the A1 sauce, but it's a very interesting sauce. I thought Dan said poison sauce. So I said poison. No, poison. Poison. I don't know how to cut steak that well. No, you're supposed to cut along the grain. For the grain, yeah. But I will try it by itself. Hmm. Ooh. I got a very fatty, juicy piece. That was really good. Ooh. Yes, it's butter. butter. Yeah, it's just drop. Mmm. Mm. That was really good. This is good steak. Um, is it better than my steak or no? Be honest. Ooh. <laughs> it tastes similar, I'm not gonna lie. Similar. I, I like how it's seasoned. I love, like, very, I like salty food, so yep. salty steaks are really good. A fancy steakhouse can only hope to taste similar to Dan's signature steak. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it's true. He does make good steaks. It's really good. I like it when they're salty. The crust is really good. Very flavorful. Very, very nice crust on the steak. I am impressed. Two remaining sauces I haven't tried. This is the habanero sauce. Let's try it out. Mm. <laughs> There's a fruity mango fragrance to it. Definitely like, kicks you a little bit. Not too spicy. It's not as dense with spice. I'm gonna try the remaining sauce. This is Burmese sauce, so I don't know what Burmese sauce is, but it looks very buttery. Very buttery, very creamy, savory. It's the most buttery sauce in here. It's what's almost your, like butter. What's your favorite? My favorite sauce has to be the miso. That's the ginger's like signature. The miso one is my favorite, but yeah, guys, a really good steak doesn't even need the sauce, but the sauce just, you know, elevates the steak, but it's nicely marinated. So there's a white chocolate outer shell, yuzu cream inside, some uh, passion fruit, yeah. Yeah, and you crack it right open. Like I said, guys, a small presentation that matters with this little stone plate right here. It's pretty cool. White chocolate outer shell, he said you just crack it open, and inside is the juju cream and passion fruit. Nice. Ooh. Ooh, that's the passion fruit, and this is the juju cream. I'm gonna take like, and I'm gonna get some of these crumbs. I don't know what they are. But it looks like a lemon. You want orange? It looks like an egg. This is a perfect dessert after a salty meal. It's really fresh, really um, citrusy. I like it. The passion fruit is really nice. Good dessert. Let me take a crack at it. Ooh wee. <laughs> It's like a century old egg. Mm. Very sophisticated dessert. It's very lemony, fresh, tarty. Tad bit sweet, but it's on the lemony sour side. Tarty, it's not super sour, but it's really good. Kind of like it's like frozen yogurt with like a outer white chocolate shell. Very good, very good indeed. I am very impressed with this whole experience at Jean Dior. Y'all did yourself, Mr. Jean. <laughs> Alright guys, so we have just finished our finger licking, lip smacking foodie tour. <laughs> and I'll say it was a success. What do you have to say about the place? Any tips or recommendations? I really enjoyed the tour. It was really nice. I think um, even though you were limited on the amount of time you had at each restaurant, it was well worth it. Every food item that we got was so good. There was no bad food item. Mm -hmm. So, so good, so worth the money. I, yeah, really good. I only recommend it. Like I said, I'll post the prices down below, but I think off the top, it was $150 for the food, each person, and $60 for the drink package. So, yeah. what do you think was the best out of the three that we went to? I think it just got better and better and better as the tour went on. I think um, this was really nice. We had steak, so of course that's its in its own category. In the catch, we had really nice um, seafood with the shrimp. It was really good. Um, Javier's, I love the, the the environment and the vibes of the place, and mm -hmm. the enchiladas are really good. So everything has been really, really, really nice. They have different packages at the Lip Smacking Foodie Tours. There's a downtown tour, our district store, Chinatown tour. There's a bunch of tours that you guys can choose from, but ours was the fine dining tour, and we loved it. And 
Yeah, guys. For me, I would say this one was the best in terms of, you know, fine dining, the steaks, and the environment, and the vibes. And then Catch LA, I really like Catch for the vibes and environment. I like the little steak ske skewers there. Yeah. And at the Javier's, I really like the, the crab, the blue crab, and mariscos enchilada. That one's really good. But they're all great. And yeah, it's kind of cool that all, all of the experiences are right inside a hotel, the Aria. So you don't have to worry about, you know, walking to each one because they're about like a five minute walk to each restaurant. And it was just a really fun experience. And we are stuffed. Really Really enjoyed it, and yeah, guys, enjoy the rest of the night. If you guys like this video, like it, comment down below where we should go next, and subscribe for more food vlogs. Deuces. Deuces.